1835 account of Joseph Smith's first vision. Being wrought up in my mind, respecting the subject of religion and looking at the different systems taught the children of men, I knew not who was right or who was wrong and considered it of first importance that I should be right in matters that in involve the eternal consequence. Being thus perplexed in my mind, I retired to the silent grove and bowed down before the Lord under a releasing sense that he had said, ask and ye shall receive, knock and it shall be opened, seek and ye shall find. And again, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who giveth to all men liberally and abradeth not. Information was what I most desired at this time, and with a fixed determination to obtain it, I called upon the Lord for the first time. In the place above stated, or in other words, I made a fruitless attempt to pray. My tongue seemed to be swollen in my mouth, so I could not utter. I heard a noise behind me, like some person walking towards me. I strove again to pray, but I could not. The noise of walking seemed to draw nearer. I sprung to my feet and looked around, but saw no person or thing that was caused to produce the noise of walking. I knelt again. My mouth was open and my tongue liberated, and I called upon the Lord in mighty prayer. A pillar of light appeared above my head. It presently rested down upon me and filled me with joy unspeakable. A personage appeared in the midst of the pillar of fire, which was spread all round, and yet nothing consumed. Another personage soon appeared like unto the first. He said unto me, Thy sins are forgiven thee. He testified unto me that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and I saw many more angels in this vision. I was about 14 years old when I received this first communication.